The Adventures of Jungle Jim. A complete radio episode based on the action pictures and characters of the same name that appear every Sunday in the Comic Weekly. Leading a small group of expert guerrilla fighters against the Japs on the Malayan Peninsula, Jungle Jim was wounded. Though only a flesh wound, lack of proper medicines and food made his condition serious. So Kolu, Sing Lee, and the others staged a daring raid on a Jap supply convoy, traveling in native boats up the Sedili River. They obtained the medicine Jim so desperately needed, and under the care of a trustworthy native nurse, his health and strength rapidly returned. But a Jap jungle patrol discovered their hiding place in a limestone cave. Knowing that the odds against them are hopeless, they've dodged from cave to cave for three days, for capture means certain death. Kolu and the young Chinese-American Tom Sun explained the situation to the newly recovered Jim. So, that's the setup, Jim. Our luck's held out for three days, but it can't last forever. This cave be rat trap if Japs take look see to Jim. Yeah, and we don't dare poke our noses out of the trap. You say we've only got one ammunition there is in the guns right now, Tom Sun? Yep. One round in the Tommy gun, one yeah. belt for the machine gun... Eight shots in Kolu's pistol. Ooh, bad one. It isn't good. Maybe we'd all ought to get delirious, huh, Jim? At least we wouldn't know how tough things are. Well, there's one thing in our favor. The Japs don't know the spot we're in. Them find us, them learn, chop chop. Well, at least the babe won't be here when they find us. Whatever happens to Lona, she'll be better off than she would be with us. How long since she left? Just after midnight. Not quite twelve hours. Uh, her be safe in village by now. Yeah, I hope so. I didn't even get a chance to thank her. Why'd she leave that way? Oh, there were some fireworks in the jungle. Sounded like a hot jam session while it lasted. Lona went with Uncle Sing Lee to see what it was all about. Her say, you okay now, Twan. She go back home. What about Sing? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Plenty ammunition with Misha and Australian... If them know where us be... Oh, stop torturing yourself, Kolu. Eh? They don't know where to look for us any more than the Japs do. Well, if our luck holds out for the rest of the day, we might get out of here during the night. No, no, no good, Twan. No, you're still too weak, Jim. Even without the Japs, that jungle ain't no picnic ground, especially at night. Well, it's a cinch we can't stay here. If only I knew what that shooting was that Sing Lee went to investigate. If only I knew where he was right now. Wait, wait. Huh? Hand me that Tommy gun, Jim. Here. Kolo, are you sure you heard? Yes. Watch the bushes that hide the entrance to this joint. Someone there, all right. Huh? Look. The bushes are moving. Yeah. Not to use all bullets on Japs, Thompson. Why not? Kolo means if there are too many of them, it's better if they don't take us alive. <laughs> Before we rejoin the exciting company of Jungle Jim, I want to tell you of some other exciting companions you can join. I want you to join the 15 million others who find that Sunday morning is adventure time when you read the comic weekly. Its brilliant full-color pages contain more than two dozen of your favorite features. Features like Flash Gordon, The Lone Ranger, Buzz Sawyer, The Phantom, Prince Valiant, and a score of others equally famous. Features that have made the Comic Weekly America's favorite funnies. It's distributed by 15 of the nation's top-notch Sunday papers from coast to coast. One of them brings it to this city. So for exciting Sunday morning reading, look for the figure of Puck and the words The Comic Weekly at the top of the front page. Now back to the Jap-infested jungles of Malaya and Jungle Jim. <laughs> If they're coming, what are they waiting for? Probably getting ready to rush us. Last before time, them got flame for her. Maybe so send for him. Why the quiet? Damn it. Getting closer, all right. I'd take a chance on spraying the bushes if I had more ammo. No. Don't shoot till you've got a target. Them coming closer. Coming too close. Hey, what the. Listen. That's our signal. Might be Jap trick. Hold everything. No, so. They must be in one of the other caves. A lot of pumps on here, on there. Hey, wait a minute. That sounds just like... What, what? Did you hear that, copper? Oh, I did. 
But if it's a Jap kid, it'll be fair count and measureless. That's Mac, Jim. Mac and the Australian. Mac, is that you? Stop the pot, is he on in there? Hey, Chucky Luna, that is a fair thing. Jim, you inside there? Yeah, come ahead, Mac. Make it snappy, Mac. There are Jap patrols all over the joint. Oh, not the last two days there, there aren't. What's that? Hey, this neck of the woods is as clean as a whistle. For now, anyway. Well, then, I don't see... Yeah, it. Chunga. Let me just have a look at that shoulder. No, it's okay. Curse like the very devil, but Mona says that's because it's healing. We'll put an eye on it anyway, if you please. You better let him, Jim. He'll do it anyway. Okay, okay. But where are the Jap... Oh, hey. Ah, steady on. Sit still, can't you? And most of the Japs cleared out two days ago, Jim. They figured their flamethrower took care of you. Yeah? Then how come I spotted a patrol just after supper last night, Jackson? Keep your shirt on, Junior. You saw the tail end of them. Oh, you know this, Mac. Misha lit a dummy campfire last night. And those same Japs you saw fell for it. It was a lot of fun while it lasted. Yeah, but how do you know that was the last of them? Because we waited until just before dawn and lit another fire. Nothing happened. Except that it led Sing Lee and Lona to us. Then if they reached you without the Japs spotting them, it must be because there are no Japs. Right. Lona's cousin, Raleigh, took, took her back to the town. Sing Lee is still with Misha and the others. They told us how to find you. You know, you darn near got your heads blown off doing it. No, I was poking those bushes with a pole. All right, Jinker. That Slim Billy's a good nurse. I'll get her tight in the bandage, I'll give you a shelter complete rest. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know you were a doctor. Who said I am? Now, rest your arm against your body. That's it. Anything you say. I don't like it, Mac. The chaps had us trapped like flies in the bottle. Why should they suddenly clear out that way? Number one, they thought they'd already finished you. Number two, they had more important things to do. What things, Mac? That supply convoy we raided to borrow Jim's medicine wasn't just routine, Kolo. It was sent here special. And what's special, Kate? The Japs are installing a big gasoline dump about six miles west of town. A gasoline dump? Oh. In this part of Malaya? Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, isn't it, though? It's right under a nice, wide, flat plateau. Oh, me no clear. Planes could land on that plateau, Jim, and planes use gas. How, how do you know this, Mac? Hey, Raleigh picked up the hot dope in the town. It's the McCoy, all right. They've been grabbing off natives as volunteer labor. Same as they always do. Could mm. Raleigh tell you how near finished it is? No, but he says the storage tanks are there. Mm, must be quite a sight. I I think I'd like to pay that place a visit. Yeah, that's what Sing Lee said, Jim. Now you're cooking with gas. In fact, you're cooking with jet gas. Mind you don't cook in it instead of with it. Well, some <laughs> time bombs ought to do the trick. Uh, just like that, eh? No, but you and Misha are both pretty handy with time bombs. Now, what will the sons of heaven be doing while we're showing them how handy we are? Reading a book, perhaps. Oh, no, no, no. But uh, did you ever see a flock of dogs when another dog barks in the distance? Aye. Uh, go, go to the ears and off they trot to see what's about. Right. Now, the rest of us will give them something to be curious about while you and Misha do your stuff. Well, let's hightail it out of here, then. I've been cooked up in this cave for so long that a little action is just what the doctor ordered. Also, I'm looking forward to telling Misha about the fun he missed. I don't know whether to bless this moonlight or curse it. Saved us a lot of time getting here, anyway. Well, here's the ridge. What do we do now? Wait, wait. You'll stay here in shadows. Hold these, Thompson. Huh? Hey, what's the... Quiet! Keep your voices down. Yeah, but Jim, why should Kolu give me his shoes to hold? Why should he lamb ahead of us anyway? Listen. Huh? Across the ridge there. A sentry, see him? Yeah. Oh, but Kolu... Ah! Boy. Wow. Oh, if Kolu ever wants to put on a knife-throwing act in Vaudeville, I'd be glad to recommend him. <laughs> Look, he's waving to us. Come here. Keep it down. Make good targets from below. Well, look at that, will you? Yeah, aren't they the busy little beavers and sons of beavers? Yeah, mm, quite a layout. Spotlights, tractors, bulldozers. Uh-huh, and plenty of guards, too. Good thing we blacked our faces. How much longer, Jim? Oh, Mission the Australian must be just about there now. Two more minutes. Say, that Aussie's a funny duck. 
All the time he's been with us, and I don't even know his name. None of us does. But he's one of our best men, and that's all that counts. That'll be Sing Lee. Do uh, Misha and the Australian know where to meet us afterwards? That clump of a trees at the foot of the ridge. They know. That must be the Frenchman and his bunch across the way. All set and right on schedule. How much longer, Jim? Ten seconds. Get those searchlights first. Yeah. You've been best sharpshooter, Tom, son. Okay. Three seconds. Two. One. Now. <laughs> Come on! Keep that head down, Tom, son. Yeah. Get that machine gun, Mac. It's working. The sentries are leaving the storage tanks. Oh, blast this bad arm of mine anyway. Look out, Colonel! Yeah. One time I owe you four, boy. Any yeah. sign of Misha, Jim? Nope. Can't see either one of them. There. Sniper behind tractor down there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, hey look. They're getting ready to use mortars at us. Hold out a few more seconds, Mac. Okay, now come on, let's get out of here. Hey, that's mortar shell, all right. Guess we just got out of there in time. <laughs> there we are. Those are record trees down there. I hope the Frenchman made out all right. He was in the thick of it. Hey, watch yourself. This trail is steep. They won't take this lying down, you know. We better scram all of We will, as soon as we're all together. Wait, wait. Oh, there. That you, Colonel? It's the Australian. Come ahead, Cobber. Here comes Uncle Singh. But the Frenchman's right behind him, too. Oh, boy, look at those grins. <laughs> <laughs> this is one time all of us can grin, Mac. Oh, a good night's work. How'd you make out, old man? Uh, it depends on how you look at it. The time bombs are planted right enough. Did anyone spot you? Not till we were leaving. No. Brother, those time bombs really went to town. Oh, I suppose that's all that really matters, isn't it? Hey, what's eating you, Carver? Yeah, we did what we set out to do. What more do you want? I want Misha. I want him here, safe again. And he never will be. Hey, what are you talking about? What happened? I got him. Right through the back of the head. Just as we were leaving. They... Oh, but... Are you sure? Maybe he was only... No, they got him, I tell you. It was just a lucky shot, but it did its work. Oh, gee. Poor Misha. He was such a... Hang on to yourself, kid. Yeah. We sure lost an awful lot of man when we lost Misha. Yeah. <laughs>